Hi everyone, it's Kathy Koliakova with PepperItMarketing.com and today I'm going to walk you through the steps on making a change on your Facebook page so that you can make your Facebook page the admin of a Facebook group that you might own. Now some of you might be wondering why you would want to do this and I'll give you a perfect example. It happened to me recently when I was at an event and I had one of my virtual assistants put a reminder to my private Facebook group for members in my Insiders Club training to let them know that we would be doing our live review session on the upcoming Friday. So when she posted it there, it actually came up as her. And we had arranged, she was gonna put it on the, on the group and it was gonna say, you know, what I normally said. So it was gonna say something to the effect of make sure that you get your items in for review, you know, so that you, Kathy, can do the review of your marketing items, your ideals, your tools, your tactics, whatever it is I'm going to be reviewing for them on the Friday. And so it was worded like it was coming from me because we assumed she was going to be posting it as my Pepper Marketing Facebook page because that is something that you can do with your groups. You can make your page an admin of the group so that you or anyone else on your team can interact as your page. Instead, it came up as a post from Natasha, who most people didn't know in the group who Natasha was. And it said something about, I'm going to be reviewing your live items on Friday. And so a few people were confused. And that was when I realized I had forgotten one piece of the foundations of my Facebook group when we set it up a couple years ago when the membership club started. And that was to make the page an admin of the group. So, of course, knowing me, I go look at Facebook help, try to figure out what we're going to do to make the change because I couldn't find it very easily on how to do it. The help that I could find was really out of date. The help I found online was a little out of date as well. So I finally figured it all out and thought I would do a new, more 2019 version of how to do this so that anyone else looking to do it can follow the steps and actually see what they're looking at because Facebook has changed so much in the past few years. The post that I saw from 2017 nothing looks the same now on the back end of Facebook to show you how to do this. So that's what we're going to do here today. So this is a, my Facebook page. And so the way that this is going to work, this is the group that I wanted to do it with. Now I'm going to, oops, I'm going to show you this here too. So this is my insiders club. So this is my membership program. And you can see now that on here I can interact as myself or I can switch and interact to Pepper at Marketing. That wasn't the case before we made this change. Instead, it looked like what my blogging mastermind does because I don't allow anyone else to post in there. There is no option in there. I am in here only as me. There is no way up on this side over here for me to interact as my page the same way there is here. So you'll see it right below the name of your group if you can make that option. And so if you have an admin on your group, in my case, it's Natasha, one of my virtual assistants. So she can also see this. So when she logs in now, because she's an admin on the group, she also has the option of interacting as herself, as Natasha, or clicking to Pepper Marketing, Marketing Services and acting as the page. And when she schedules anything for me on my behalf, I definitely want it to come up that way um, versus uh, showing up as her. Now there is an alternative. You can always give away your Facebook login to your team member as well, which mind you have it, but we prefer not to be logging in and out that way. So we typically go about it this way. So I'm going to show you how to make this change. So if your page or your group is looking more like my blogging mastermind here where you don't have that option and you want to have it, then this is how you're going to set that up. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your Facebook page, the one you want to make the admin, and you're going to take a look down here now on the side menu here. Now, this is your tabs that you have on your page and they don't all automatically show up there. They only show up there if you've added them in. So you do have to make a point of adding them in if you want to be um, adding a different type of tab in there to do different things. So for instance, if you want to have video show or event show, things like that, this is actually something once I did this, I'm probably going to go back and do a little bit of cleanup because not everything in here is what I want people to be able to see on the tab menu. But prior to my change the other day, the groups button was not here. So if you don't have that there, then you're not going to have the option to make 
your page and admin of your group. And I'm going to show you how to add the groups button in there. So the first thing you're going to do, I'm looking around my webcam here. Sorry for tilting around. You're going to go to the settings on your page. So you're going to be in your Facebook page. You're going to go to settings and then you're going to go over to templates and tabs. And this is where you can determine what kind of tabs want to show on your side menu there. And this will be dependent, what types of tabs that you see in there will be dependent on the type of page you have set up. So in my case, I have a services type of page. And I can always revert back, I'm not going to now, but I could revert back to the default tabs. But you can see the tabs that you have in here. And if your groups is not showing there, then you're going to have to hit the button, add a tab, and then it will show here. I've added it already, so it's not showing. But it will show here, and then you would hit add tab, and then close it and finish off. And then you're all set. So now that you've got this added in here, you're gonna go over to your page, because you wanna go back to the uh, tabs that you have. You're going to click on groups because it's now there. And this is where you have the option to link your group to your page, okay? So you can, you'll be able to see this here. I've added the Insiders Club now, so it's not showing, it's showing as an option, but if you didn't have it there, it wouldn't be. So my Blogging Mastermind one is not there. So I could hit link your group, and this is where you would add it in. And because I'm an admin on several pages, I've got lots of groups in here, but I'm gonna find the group that I would want. I would hit the link button. Then it'll let me know this is what the options are going to be. You can manage the group, create posts, interact with members as your page or yourself. And this is something that any admin of your group would be able to do as well. So you hit the link group button there. Now it's gonna show up in the groups by this page over here. And when you go over to your group and hit refresh, it should also give you that option now to interact as your page, or you can swap it back and interact as your personal profile. And what the difference is here, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to show you on my, I'm going to show you on the Insiders Club because they're used to me doing testing there. My blogging mastermind isn't used to that so much. They'll be like wondering what's going on. So on here, I'm interacting myself as myself. So if I put in a test post as me, this is what it's going to show like. You're going to see my personal uh, Facebook profile image show up here. I'm going to hit post. So you can see this test post as me. Now, if I were to swap out to the Pepperit Marketing Services page, anything that I post now has my image that's on my page, and that's actually why it's a tactic. I keep my images different on my page and my personal profile, primarily so that I know when I'm anywhere and I want to interact as me, I know what photo of me to be looking for to make sure that I'm using that one. So this one be, would be a test post as my page. And it has the different um, button over here. So once I hit the post there, we'll be able to see the difference in here as well. So you can see this time it was Pepper at Marketing Services that posted. The other one was me that posted. So that's the difference in what you would see when you're swapping yourself out as your page or you the person on your group. So that is how you go in and set it up. It's very easy to do. Just a little recap, you're gonna go into your settings on your Facebook page. You're gonna to go to templates and tabs. You're gonna go down here and if groups isn't there, you're going to add it to the tab, add the tab. Once you've got it on there, so again, if you had it already set there and it's showing here but you never linked your group, just simply go to the group button, hit the link your group button, pick the group that you wanna add and you're all set. So I hope this helps you uh, figure out easy steps on setting up and connecting your Facebook page to be an admin of your Facebook group. And this is Kathy Koliakova with PepperitMarketing.com. If you're looking for any more tips and ideas to help you manage your online marketing and your social media when it comes to your business, definitely go in to the Facebook page for Pepper at Marketing. You can find me at facebook.com slash Pepper at Marketing. I put all sorts of tips on there. 
or you can also connect with me on Instagram. I'm also Pepper at Marketing over on Instagram. Have a fabulous day, everyone, and I hope this helps you figure out how to make your Facebook page the admin of your group. And if you definitely have any questions, feel free to post them wherever you have found this video online. Have a great day.